Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance here, back with another video, and it's a Beer Money Roundtable video, and I have with me two special guests. Y'all know Tasty Wallet and DJ Guardian. DJ? Hello! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it, we had... We, <laughs> And by the way, if you have if you have noticed here on the top right on on my top right anyway, uh, DJ Guardian's uh, uh, little splash layout here, this is her actual um, Twitch stream layover that we have spent almost an hour trying to get set up for her yep. to show up on camera. So that so she so she will be on board with us in video now from the future uh, in the future. I mean. And who? Wow, that was fun. Underwater. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Atlantis, welcome. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah. Hope hope you all uh, like that. Uh, yeah. If you want to go check out her uh, Twitch streams as well, I have that link below, as well as Tasty Wallet's YouTube channel. It's just Tasty in, and I I have to mention this comment in Harry Potter's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually, uh, there was actually a comment on that one. I'm actually going to put it up here as a layover so that way everyone can see yeah, it. Jeepers. Yeah, so, um, so today we're going to be talking about uh, something that's been a little bit, I guess, I guess it must be the, the this time of, you know, the reason for the season here. Uh, nerfs. Lots and lots of nerfs. And I'm not going to like, uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, if you all hear like, motors running in the background or vehicles running in the background uh, i think i mentioned this before in another round table um my uh you know we i do live you know in a house on a street with a lot of loud cars so apologies for that um but anyway. i do have dogs next door that do tend to bark from time to time <laughs> yeah <laughs> so so the nerfs so the <laughs> So these nerfs, we had uh, several nerfs that kind of started around December with Microsoft Rewards. Um, Microsoft Rewards had these nerfs of like originally getting rid of the bonus for Microsoft Edge, which okay, whatever. But then like starting things like cooldowns, uh, depending on who is where, also lowering the number of points for uh, one of their little card bonuses from 10 to 2 then back to 10 uh and still having a few of them too from 10 to 5 so that was that started around december um then we had a few others as well like um and these three actually came in all at once and we had benjamin so benjamin uh, had cut their daily bonuses in half from 10 cents to 5 cents uh including bonuses on the wheel and cut their referrals. Um, bonus, uh, bridge, bridge money. I apologize. Bridge money also cut their referral bonuses, and how? And I believe they've also recovered a little bit of that too, because they found the bonuses maybe to be a little too harsh. Uh, we'll we'll cover that as well. And then swag bucks and their swago board as well. Uh, so, oh, and I forgot to mention cash walk as well. Cash walks nerfing of their. Uh, feed so it it's it's nerfing season isn't it <laughs> so totally seems like it yeah um so uh which of these nerfs has been, a nerf war. yeah <laughs> uh, which of these nerfs have been hurting you guys the most so far and it doesn't have to be one of these five as well uh, i guess i could start uh first of all cash walk um i i when i started cash walk it was 1,500 points to do a $5 cash out. Previous to that, I had read that it was actually $1,000 uh, for, for $5, and then it went to 1,500, and then 2,000, and then 3,000, and then eventually I the iOS went to 5,000. I don't know if Android's gone to 5,000. Android's still 3,000. Yet or not, um, it's still 3,000. Okay. So when I found out about the 5,000 thing for iOS, I said, that's it. I'm done. It's just going to continue, and I just you know for the same amount of work, I'm not gonna, I'm not getting on this trade anymore. So, I um I got rid of cash log. Um, it was actually kind of nice though because I was able to exercise and get some credit for uh, for moving around. But 
Uh, unfortunately, I have nothing but a find a replacement. Um, yeah, so regarding cash walk, I should mention, uh, I think part of that nerfing was because they did increase the amount of coins per day you could gain uh, from walking from 100 to 200. So that might have explained some of it, but I don't think that explains all of it. Also, the addition of competitions. Yeah. Yeah, right, and and they're they're also doing this guy gazer thing and all these other stuff that they, they've added to it. I wasn't interested in any of that um, extra stuff, but uh, yeah, that does make sense. Um, of course, that may mean that I would have to do twice as much moving around as I normally do, and I was never able to get to ten thousand anyways. So, um, so yeah, that pretty much is it for me. Uh, DJ, what's your biggest uh, nerf that that has impacted you? Hmm. Oh, actually. Well, here's the thing. Um, the mini games on Atlas Earth. We talked about, you know, the newest one. Yeah. The bowling. The problem is that they have so many of them now. It's making the others either there's more errors with them or, you know, here's the thing. You got to troubleshoot. So many different mini games now, right? So now people are having even more issues with mini games they probably wouldn't have had. I think they need to fix the ones they have better before they add more because the more they add, it just seems it's kind of adding salt to the wound. People are saying, well, I would play this, but there's just too many glitches. So I would play that. But now, I mean, and just just like with bowling, because, you know, you have a video out with the bowling, you know, that you tried. And yeah. I was asking people, what do you think? Well, none of them were too happy with it because the first, they said the first pass or the first, uh, something like the first, when they first did their, their bowling, like the first pass, they said that there's so much of a lag there that they can never get the first uh, roll, you know, with the ball to go right. You know, the, the way they want to. Yeah. So um, they're basically nerfing these games in a way that people don't want to play them because they need to fix the problems that are there. You know, so in okay. a way, it's nerfing the people that people don't want to play the mini games anymore. They really enjoy them, so that's a shame. I mean, I know I enjoy racing, but I'm looking at the feedback from bowling, and I didn't get a chance to play it. But when I looked at the feedback, I was thinking, yeah. I think they're adding too much too soon, and I think they're just kind of overwhelming themselves at this point. So that may not be considered a nerf, but it is to the point where, you know, it's getting like nobody's wanting to really play the mini games because of all the errors. You know what? I actually meant, I forgot to mention this. Atlas Earth mini games did have a bit of a, a prize nerf as well, at least at the top. So I know there was a prize mm -hmm. nerf for everyone from top 50 on up, I believe. Okay, sorry about that. I had to pause there for a second because Tasty while it had an emergency family matter there, so uh, not a big deal. But uh, I was talking about regarding the Atlas Earth mini games that we had a prize pool. Um, so regarding the prize pool, as well as also another nerf, especially for those that were in the top, I'd say fifty or so. So like I know top one hundred stayed the same. Top five hundred actually got a buff a little bit, but uh, not by much. And top uh, top fifty on though did get some. Uh, actual nerfs i believe um you said tasty was like top 25 but i know definitely top three got hurt the most oh yeah absolutely um and i was i was really feeling it because i am usually someone who's at the uh the podium level for racer and fishing and sometimes with warship as well um top prize back back uh, before the nerf happened it was about you know, three to four thousand for the top prize um, you can expect to get about close to 2,000, uh, maybe 1,500 if you got third, third place and then somewhere in between for second. And all of that was pretty much cut um, heavily so they could pay more out for top 100 and top 500 people, which, to be honest with you, I think we were getting a little bit too much um, for uh, those mini games at the top. So I, I kind of was bummed out, but at the same time, I, I kind of thought that was a, a bit of a better – um, payout for um, uh, the the mini games, um, especially since it really helped out people at the the bottom level. 
Yeah, and I know I know you wanted to mention something else, DJ. Oh, uh, I also wanted to say that other some glitches with regards to um, when you play an ad for your AB uh, every 20 minutes. Um, there are some times where it has not worked or it will continue to load. Uh, it will give you um, a black screen where it would normally say, you know, uh, you can watch an ad. And then I've had a couple where they basically just uh, knocked me out of the app entirely <laughs> uh, for re rewarding me the AB. So there's been some glitches too. That's happened during the um, mulligans as well. Yeah, I'm hoping I didn't get an echo there for a second. Actually, I I, I might have gotten DJ a little bit echoed there uh, because of my uh, headphones. I apologize for that, everyone. Um, yeah, but yeah, those glitches as well. I, I guess you could call that a nerf as in, in to a to an extent. Um, yeah, I, I guess you could call it a nerf to an extent because when you think about it, and and I'm just thinking about this too from a from my point of view here. Um. I used to play and I consistently got top 25 and I think racer I was like top 50 because my connection was so bad at the apartment, like so terrible. But, um, and then sometimes I even podiumed in golf, but, uh, but now ever since like this new countdown issue has been going through, like it's kind of given me more justification to just go ahead and just kind of not play mini games anymore. And sometimes even like do top 500 just do top 500. So I guess for some of us that are like, that have played this and spent and dedicated 10 hours a week of our lives to doing these mini games, it's yeah. kind of been more of a, just, we just don't really care that much anymore. It feels like. Um, yeah, another way that I've, that works. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> that's okay. Um, I, I was going to say though, I, I've definitely been feeling that um, not just in terms of my enjoyment of it, but also been feeling a little bit of that as well. There's some tension going on um, with me spending too much of my time playing the mini games, um, even though I'm making wheel, you know, wheeling deal with my wife to spend some time with her daughter um, and spend time with her before I can go and play for a couple of hours. So uh, I think one of the things I want to start doing is maybe do one mini game a week where I push for podium. And then the other ones I'll either maybe play for an hour, 30 minutes, or maybe even 15 minutes to get of top 50 or top 100 or maybe even top 500 um and maybe not worry if i don't even play it at all and i know dj is like racer only if, am i wrong on that one um here's the thing um going off what tasty said about you know the mini games yeah. yes um at this point yes and that's if i can here's the thing pharaoh the way this is getting nerfed is there's other ways to make AB on there that there weren't before. They're adding way more um, a, uh, AMP, they, uh, AMP, you know, uh, like cashback deals. They're adding, they have surveys now. Uh, they didn't have a lot of these things before. They didn't have surveys um, before. Uh, so mini games were kind of the only way you could get ahead uh, without the surveys. So now they have more ways to make AB on there than they had before. Uh, so now the mini games are not uh, the only way, or, you know, the, the best way. So now more people are doing various activities on there that don't include the mini games. So in a way, that got nerfed when they added all of those other ways to make AB okay, but on Atlas, you know, Atlas Earth with surveys. Here's the thing, though. I The surveys don't pay out the best at least in my opinion like they pay out they pay out i guess if you go based off of two cents per atlas buck which is my standard like that's what i think of the standard like currency that we have now for atlas earth is two cents per atlas buck i know it's a nickel per atlas buck for the five dollar 100 atlas buck package but in reality it seems like they value it at two cents an atlas buck um, and they seem to, they pay out better than, I guess, your swag bucks or your roller coin, right. but I don't see how it's, how surveys and the arcade could, could help people catch up in a way. Oh, arcade. Way. Yes. I'm glad you brought that up. Oh, arcade. Yeah. It's another way that you can make AB on. So they have lots of choices now that they didn't. Have. That's what I'm saying. You didn't really have a choice before. You know, mini games was really the only other way you could get ahead. Right. 
but and like, then of course explore <clears throat> but but like i think the most that you could get from the arcade is something like what a few parcels i never tried it to be honest um i but so I guess I was it is told that some of them are per minute. So <laughs> to be fair, it could be this is something that everyone can do, though, right? Not just five hundred mm -hmm. people. So that that is a that uh, now that I think about it, that is probably what what is the lure regarding the arcade. Yeah. Well, not five hundred anymore. Two thousand because we got U.S., we got Canada, we got Australia, U.K., and Me and soon to be Mexico. So twenty five hundred people. It's it's already out. Uh, Mexico has mini games. Mexico, New Zealand. Uh, well, I don't know about the mini games, but the, but you know, the, the at least the countries are out now. Okay, Mexico and New Zealand, which so okay, okay, so three thousand people will mm -hmm. uh, will be able to get Atlas books. Um, right, and, and but the other thing is that they're not they're not weighed to a particular time. These mini games have specific times when they're available, and if you don't, if you're not true. available at that time, you're not playing. True. Okay. Very true. And that's another thing is um, because of all the, the different um, people that have uh, all the countries, there's the prize pools, um, they're not too happy with those either because of the different amount of people playing per per country. You know, they're, mm. some of them are a lot mean. lower. Yeah. So all of those things need to be more balanced. And, you know, that's my opinion there. Uh, because the more countries you add, the more, you know, you have to find some kind of balance there. Oh, yeah. You, you know what? Uh, I did want to get to bridge money, and we'll get to that in a, mo in a moment. But I do want to talk about this uh, sprawling. You know what? As a matter of fact, I might as well talk about it. Um, the addition of all these different countries. So I know they just added just a straight up international tier. I'm not sure if that was the best. In my opinion, of course. I'm not sure if that was the best idea. Because it seems like it is, it doesn't seem very, it seems very appealing if you live in Mexico, in my opinion. It seems like, because they're a tier three marketing country, which I don't know why they're tier three, according to most places, but they are tier three. All the other countries that they have released are tier one countries. Why are they getting a, you know, a two thirds penalty compared to the US? And Mexico, uh, like Mexico having a two thirds penalty? Yes, I get it. But mm -hmm. the others, like, mm, I know U.S. is tier zero, but come on. It's because of the advertising market. Um, I had a small conversation with Mod Manning about this. He's yeah. the newest moderator for uh, Red the Shirt with Reddit Discord. Yeah. He's also the COO. So him and I had a little bit of a discussion about this. And that's, that's basically, it, it really boils down to the advertising market. Uh, in the United States, it's ultra competitive. Uh, there's not as many limitations and um, uh, laws that are that are that are you know restricting people in terms of advertising. Um, whereas in you know internationally, there's a lot more laws. There's there's a lot less um, people doing it. There's there's a lot less competition okay. uh, for it. They're they're, they're paying but... less, um, and then that that, uh, that trickles down to Atlas or bottom line, which. Which means that they, they they can't pay out um, as much as they want to be able to pay out for these countries. Okay, I understand those countries compared to the tier one to to the U.S. I'm saying tier one countries like Canada and U.K. to tier three countries like Mexico. Mexico has its own tier system. Uh, it does. Oh, okay. So we don't know, have they released that tier system yet? Yes. Okay, I will have to look that up. It's, it's lower. Okay, well, this is going to be, everyone will know about it come July 27th anyway, when this is getting recorded and sent out. So uh, by then I'll know too, and I'll be able to do stuff regarding the strategy guide on that one. So that's great. Great to know. Uh, so um, yeah, uh, I was just wondering on that one. I might have to edit that one out. I don't know. Uh, okay, let's move on to bridge money. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your DJ Guardian. Got a tangent there. <laughs> DJ Guardian just had a, yeah. Um, okay, so bridge money. Uh, several, there were several nerfs on this one. Everything from cash out windows to the referral bonuses to... Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you can hear that zoom in the background there. 
that gives you an idea how how bridge money I got an was. update I, I, real yeah. quick on the cash out windows. <laughs> oh, okay. So what's up with the cash out windows? They're longer now. Um, oh, okay. They're starting at four and they're now after five that you can cash out. And that includes ACH debit. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah, because they were only a few minutes at one point. But why should we even have cash out windows at all on bridge? That's a good question. Well, I was going to also say debit is definitely about as close as you can get to instant. I've done it twice now. So I can confirm that that does work. Well, I mean, I mean, why even have the, cash the only thing that I could think of? Yeah. Um, Go ahead. Because there's another app called Drop. Uh -huh. um, they had a cash flow issue. Uh, they were they were um, they had an issue where there were you know people's account balances were more than what they could pay out. Mm -hmm. So their solution was first come first serve sort of basis. So they would have a window where cash out was available. Whoever got there first can get it. And these things were like mere seconds. Not in some cases, it's not even mere seconds to be able to cash out. And if you didn't get it, you don't get it. And then you got to wait for – it wasn't just per day. It was like once a week kind of thing. So um, so I hope that that's not what's happening with bridge money. Um, my fear is that that could be – part of the issue and that might be why we're seeing some of these nerfs that we're seeing we say be able to per referral get one dollar which was doubled if you had Vernon plus uh which is now um they have to sign up for the, the rent reward program and then you get five dollars if they do that and most people are not doing that yeah so basically referrals become worthless for the most part because of that i have been seeing 50 coins now for it I haven't seen that. I've been getting referrals come in, and they've and they've said, uh, I get this alert. Oh, this person joined Bridge Money, and they're your referral, and I'm not getting fifty cents for this. Okay. Oh wow. So. Um. Oop, don't mind my uh. Don't mind my screen here. I'm trying to get things set up here. There we go. Ah. Okay. There. Okay. So don't mind my clicker there. I had to, I just had to readjust here. It's one of those episodes, guys. So, uh, so yeah, we were just kind of moving to a new area, basically. I'm moving to like a voice channel. So that's why I'm doing a lot of arranging on the Discord. Uh, but yeah, uh, there was that. Um, so between all that though, like I know that DJ Guardian especially had been they're somewhat vocal about this and had moved to Benjamin as a result of this, I believe. Because of all the mm. issues that was going on. Which one? <laughs> uh, on bridge, on bridge. Yes, I meant which one, which issue? Oh, geez, the cash out windows <laughs> mainly. Yeah, the cash out windows mostly, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yes, when they only had gift card options at one point. That's yes, when I that's said that's right, that. the ACH drop. Yes. The drop of the ACH transfers, yeah. And then only having it as an option as debit? Because you're an earned member, earned plus member is only getting the, yeah. the debit card. Um, plus yeah. Members get, uh, earned plus mm -hmm. members, do earned plus members get, yeah, earned plus members get the debit card. Um, yes. Non-earned plus members only have gift cards now, I believe. I think the minimum that is what $10. Bill. I was told. But okay. the, yeah, the minimum changed, right? Yeah. The other thing was that I was concerned about, Farrah, was because of people who game on there, who yeah. play the Bastidos games. That was a big concern because they could only cash out using gift card. And I just said that I hope that, you know, by the time I get money for this this campaign I just finished, that I don't have to cash out to just a gift card. So I'm really glad that Earn Plus members can cash out with a debit card. Yeah, we can. It's just really difficult, uh, at least for yeah. me anyway. I'm still I'm still trying to deal with yeah. uh, figuring out how to get it cashed out to my business, car business debit card, actually, because as you all know, this is business stuff for me. So... I have to run this on business. Otherwise, I have to do some weird workaround thing that yeah, they don't you. recommend doing. But if we have no other choice, I think we're allowed to, especially if we're a disregarded LLC entity. So, yes. Yeah. Yes. If we are that, we are allowed to do it, but they still don't recommend doing it on a regular basis. Um, so I'm uh, just trying to figure that one out. <laughs> here's the thing. It makes it even more valuable because you have the option to do ACH 
debit card that you don't have when you're not Earn Plus member. So that's going to make people think, hmm, maybe I should become, you know, an Earn Plus member. And people, this is something people don't get. You know, they say you can do a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. For I like supporting the app, so I chose two. You don't have to choose two. You don't have to choose three. You can choose one. But that I told you that I wasn't going to do the one because of things like this, because I was testing the system. And you were, the you were very, very well on that one, by the way. You, that was a good idea. And Tasty Wallet is blinking. There we go. You're coming back up now. Oops. Uh, uh, you know, if you guys were on here, the screen with me, I'd given you head pads. <laughs> you want to see what they look like real quick? Okay. They look like this. <laughs> Basically, they pat in you patting my head. <laughs> so <laughs> that's very popular with us VTubers. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> is that a is that a head pat? That's not yes, how I head pat head people. Pat. <laughs> yeah. I sent you a message regarding. Uh, we will call it. Code. We will call it a head pat. We'll, we'll call it a head pat for the sake of me not getting demonetized. Uh, <laughs> so. It's like a massage on the head, but we call it head pats here, and you know, yeah, streamer term. Yeah. Um. So uh, no, it uh, <laughs> just just my final thoughts on this one regarding the nerfs, though. I mean, we there were other ones too, like Benjamin doing the one dollar one now i really wanted to get to like swag bucks as well like swag bucks is swaggo board but yeah. i think i've talked enough about that in my month in reviews and how much i've complained about swag bucks since then although for a lot of people they don't really care it seems like um i've tried it i'm not i, I never really impressed. used it all that much yeah i was gonna say isn't it like the bingo board or something similar yeah. yes it is yeah it is there. you have to now like mm -hmm. there was one swaggo board where you had to buy a specific product and show the receipt that you bought the specific product at a specific store it was like some 20 dollar arm and hammer capsule thing at walmart and you had to buy it at that specific store that specific product to get that square on the board and you couldn't even get oh. the a 50 swag buck bonus the 50 swag buck like fourth column bonus without it and i i taught i complained about how annoying that was by the way <laughs> wow yeah. yeah, I can imagine. And and that's not to mention that um, their middle square used to be the gift cards, the My Gift Cards Plus. Now that is shop and earn 25 swag bucks, and they moved the My Gift Cards Plus up to the second row middle column. Oh, you're kidding. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's Dang. like, so they made it now so that you're required to shop online to get your chance to make the bonus, and it's just nearly impossible to do that. Mm. Um all the time, every single month. I'm going to be honest, Pharaoh. I barely use swag in a while. And There's I just too many too. other opportunities out there. Yeah. Me, um, me too. Yeah, that I agree. Less time to, but, you know. But my final thoughts is like, you know, with inflation being a thing, mm -hmm. it's just weird that to me that these beer money reward sites, a lot of these sites just keep deflating at a time when we deal with especially at a time when we're dealing with inflation the way that it is uh, well yeah you would think that they would be more competitive <laughs> right exactly uh, yeah uh, with the, I with was the one exception to... go ahead with the one exception of cashback sites so like cashback sites do meet up with right. inflation because they go by a percentage of cash back but everyone yes. else seems to see seems to see deflation surveys uh video ad watching stuff like that it's just i don't know it's it's not that um, I'm not, I'm I, have not a a, I have a comment on that. Yeah, what's <laughs> I have a up? comment about the videos. Go ahead, go ahead. Swaggybox used to be really popular for the videos. And then yep. all of that got nerfed for some reason. I mean, you can't even watch videos on Swagbox anymore. Yep. And I was going to ask, what was the cause of that? Because that was one reason why people wanted to use the site. I don't know, but I was going to save that for the next episode of uh, Beer Money Roundtable because I was going to talk about like where I got my start from Beer Money uh, with Beer Money amongst the rest of you as well. Uh, so you yeah. will have so that's a little teaser for next episode. Actually, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I was one step ahead of you. I guess. <laughs> yeah, you were. You were. I do that. You were. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm in Avatar mode. Who knows. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm in my realm, you know. I'm literally in my <laughs> Well, uh, well, I know we're I know all of us plus AJ 
a likely Kelly and likely Midnight will be showing up in the next episode for the Beer Money Origins episode. So maybe Yay. I might I might ask your predictions for that one as well. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. So oh no, wait, Tacey's gonna be gone actually for the next episode, aren't you? Oh uh, yeah. Most likely, yes. Yeah, that, that's right. You're out. You're out doing. Uh, I think you're out on vacation. So yay. Yeah, we'll great. have to. Yeah, so that's great. Um, yeah, and it's it'll actually be right before my vacation as well. So, ooh, this was a this was an episode. All right. <laughs> With, we we spent. Uh, I mean, it's a it was a lot longer than I had originally planned it. At least from the setup and everything else, we had forty five minutes getting DJ Guardians. Uh, Layover setup. Oh man, we had the. We I had don't a, need to know all that. <laughs> we had a couple interruptions, um, and we still have some connection issues as well. But we got through another episode of Beer Money Roundtable. The next one will be on Beer Money Origins, and I'm trying to get as many. I'm trying to get. I want to try to get six people showing up, but we'll see what happens. Um, I, I'm getting that set up, and we will be definitely talking about it. And that will go out in around mid August. Uh, so that's pretty much the video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Uh, don't forget to give it a like. Comment on your thoughts on all these more recent nerfs, everything from Atlas Earth to Cash Walk and everything in between. And I'll don't my puppy before I go. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine, subscribe to Tasty Wallet, and go follow DJ Guardian over on Twitch. She does a lot of great stuff. Tasty Wallet does a lot of great stuff too regarding um, Beer Money, like the little... I, I know you did a lot of reviews on like apps on on like the, the games that, that they play as well. Like that, I got Drill and Collect off of you, for example. Uh, yeah, off for Wall. Um, I just put out one recently for an, an app called uh, Richie Slot. And uh, the interesting thing about the Richie Sluts is that particular one, it actually pays out real money. Uh, it's not just an offer wall. You can, you, like, as you level up in that, they give you these Richie bucks, and you can use that to cash out real money. I've already, I've done it three times now. I've had this app for six days. Yeah, so go check that out, and you'll be able to, uh, and you'll be able to see what uh, Richie Sluts is about amongst others so yeah go check out his channel go check out dj guardian stream uh when do you stream dj guardian eventually planning on streaming tomorrow oh tomorrow is at the time of this recording uh so uh, oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow as yes yes uh it'll be the 12th uh i do believe july 12th yeah so and, uh, uh, um, it'll be yes and Usually I stream in the mid mornings to uh, or afternoons, but I usually, um, you know, also have updates. So, yeah, she'll. I uh, will update that in the your server and and. Me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll. I, yeah, we'll. Uh, I'll have updates set up on the comment section below as well. Uh, this one's going out on the twenty seventh, so she'll have days at that time if you are interested. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it, everyone. Uh, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Oh, don't forget to check out the videos from Tasty Wallet, and they they have some from the mini games from Atlas Art. So you guys want to see how that goes? Yes, yes, the know. mini games as well. Yes, thank you for letting me know that. All right, now I can say thank you, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and goodbye, everyone. This is the Pharaoh of Finance, Pharaoh Beer Money Finance, Pharaoh Silver. Out. I need a drink of water. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Not it.